can people recover from an abandonment wound? You said it could always just keep trigger and come back, but with your- They do, they do, they can recover and they do recover. And when, um, sometimes like when you go to conventional therapy and you open up your feelings, you're in your feelings and you could almost stay in your feelings and kind of stay sad for a while with conventional therapy if you have an abandonment wound. It won't necessarily take that wound and lift it uh, quickly. But when you touch base with those feelings in an abandonment recovery program, such as the one that I'm, I'm promoting, you don't just feel the feelings, you take them and use them. You use them to create a dialogue with yourself because those feelings form the basis of a brand new relationship with yourself, one that is stronger and deeper than anything you've ever had before. So, I mean, just using your example, and you and I don't know each other beyond this conversation, but I can tell, and you probably know, know within yourself, that when you had that experience that you didn't even remember being left with, you know, not knowing if you were going to live or die, and would you ever see your stepfather again? Would you be on this hell? Huh? Would you be just, you know, blown over and run over by cars and trucks? Um, that you, uh, those feelings were once connecting became a reason to have compassion for yourself. So that when you go to a place of self-love and giving yourself a little pat and having a connection with yourself, you go to a deeper place because of those feelings. So the idea is that no matter what feelings you begin to identify with, they become a well of ink that you can dip a pen in and write new life. They become a source of growth. But in order to really get them to work for you, you need to create this new relationship with yourself that involves two things. It involves writing a dialogue, which has, you know, step-by-step -step instructions. You need, it, there's a whole thing involved with it that you need to do it, um, but also using your imagination to personify the part of you that that happened to and then you personify yourself as the adult, loving, caring self that can actually help yourself. So you use your imagination to create, to separate the, the person who felt all of that and who feels all of that from the part of the person that can really take care of you. And so that imagination can really perform incredible um, of, of healing within the self. I make it sound like it's something that happens by osmosis. And of course it doesn't. It's step by step. That's why there are so many books, you know, explaining how to do it, workshops and so forth, because it is a process that you have to actually work. But that process is not difficult. Mm -hmm. It's just, it just takes a little effort and time, but it works. 